Hi, I'm Michelle Sterling for Friends of Science Society. I hope you'll join me on Tuesday, June 22nd at 7 p.m. I'm going to be doing a live stream and I'll be walking you through a recent report that our professional engineering team did. It's called What You Really Need to Know About Renewables That Pembina Institute Won't Tell You. And why do we say that? Well, in August of 2020, Pembina Institute released a report about renewables wherein they promised more or less that wind and solar could take over the performance of the electrical grid for Alberta. Uh, they even have a proposals hinted at phasing out natural gas and electrifying the entire grid. So our professional engineers did a quantitative analysis. And let's see what that means. Let me suggest something to you. Solar energy is quite variable. It's very seasonal. So it would be like if you had a food delivery service. So let's say over the course of a year, you are delivered all the calories that you need. But the way that system delivers the food to you is that in summer, you get tons of food. You get more food than you could even eat. And a lot of it goes to waste. But in winter, sometimes they barely even drop by, or maybe they just drop off a little box. So you would starve to death. And that's really what's the problem with solar energy for Alberta. It's a very seasonal uh, supply and it's not free. That's the other misconception that Pembina has been pushing for years, that somehow because wind and solar don't require fossil fuels to drive the power from those two devices, that somehow it's free. But in fact, the costs of integrating wind and solar to the grid are extremely high. And I'll show you some of those details. So join me Tuesday at 7 p.m. June 22nd, and we'll walk through what you really need to know about renewables that Pembina Institute won't tell you. For Friends of Science Society, I'm Michelle Sterling.